Previously on NBC's Poker After Dark. You're the worst player in the world. I swear to God you are. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> you just muck, 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 right? You're so stupid, it's amazing. I mean, how can you even talk with me? Phil, it's okay, it's only a game. You might get better in the future if you play a little better. Welcome to Poker After Dark. I'm Shauna Hyatt. The poker's getting personal as six elite pros continue to battle for a $120,000 winner take all. We've got a great group of players for you Gus Hansen, Phil Helmuth, Sean Chacon, Annie Duke, Steve Zalatow, and Huck Seed. Let's get back to the action. Steve Zalatow is on the button, blinds at 150 and 300. Year after year. Day after day, yeah, week after year. week. Same I still thing. predict that you're going to be the first one out. Oh. First one out today. Phil oh, is the short stack. Phil, he's uh, he's uh, the bookie's favorite to get knocked out first. Don't don't right tell him now. that, Gus. Real tight. Well, he has the fewest chips, right? He has well, no well, chips, and he's course, playing every hand. That's don't, the only reason. He'll do anything. Yeah, well, he's the board. best player, but you know, the best player with no chips. Hard to overcome everything. Yeah. Here, I'll take half your hand, bro. Hey, you probably should. Mmm, he almost popped it. He almost pulled the trigger, Philip. Gus needs a five to make an eight high straight. Phil would make a six high straight. My last act. Yeah. Serious? I ain't help with those things, you know. And when they say act, they mean act in this game. All right, check. <laughs> Every hand is a performance. You Phil ready? now has the Let best hand with a pair of deuces. Are the lights are on, but nobody's home, I know. 1800. 18. As a, I don't have anything, please don't call kind of look on. But, what the heck. No, so, call him, are you crazy? No, he had nothing. Yeah, I had a big hand too. Corey Pavin versus, uh, versus Phil Ivey, this is what we were talking about on Friday. Uh, Phil will play from the Reds at Summerlin. TPC for 10,000 a hole, TPC Summerlin. Mm -hmm. He scrambles his ball against Corey from the tips. Yeah, I like to bet on Corey. Corey is scrambling his ball, too. Oh. No. Blinds are up yeah, to two and four hundred now. It's him scrambling from the Reds. Yeah, right. I, I like to bet on Corey. I want to bet on Corey, but I You've lost your mind. You're going to bet on Corey <laughs> against... No. Are you crazy? What's Phil going to shoot? What's Phil? He's going to make a lot of bogeys, Huck. I mean, unless he's... Isn't Phil still a 17 handicap or 15? You and I scrambled together. We were both 15s. We shot 84. Don't you remember that? If there's one thing these guys that? like more than poker, it's what golf. Cost? We lost a lot of money to Yosh that day. Those Lacosta days, remember those days? Lacosta, man. I know a lot of you guys have improved very quickly at poker. I don't know whether you're going to be able to do it in golf or not. Well, I mean, how good is Ivy? If he's a 10, then he's a favorite, right, Huck? You know Summerlin? Cheeky know, has a pair of kings. Much, but, I mean, Summerlin from the Reds, he should be able to hit some par fives, right? Scrambling your ball from the Reds just sounds so easy, I mean. It just depends on how good he is. I mean, you'd think he's going to have 
two bad drives in a row on one hole, right? Yeah, I guess he hits it pretty bad, doesn't he? I mean, Shiki wins 2,800 with a check raise. Hey, Annie. How, How are you? Got, Annie? I don't know, like 17 or something. 17. I can't play right when I sit next to beautiful ladies. Mm, I swear to God. Lucky for you, you're next to me. That's not safe. <laughs> Take me out of my game, Annie. Make me nervous. Yeah. Do we ever have Annie's in this thing? No. No? The blinds go up every... So Gus is actually playing yeah. correctly? 15. But we, we do play the round of Badoogie in a little while. I check you. <laughs> Gus limping with ace king. Bill has 10 high. Yes, America, I'm aware. This is the third time you've been in the man on 4th Street. Yes, I'm aware. I just keep laying it down. Rope. Come Rope. on. Rope. <laughs> Wasting our time, bro. We got <laughs> things to do, places to be. Oh, my God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> this, is so, this is so beautiful, I mean. How am I, how am I ever going to lose at this table? Well, Gus, as long as you steer clear of Phil's rope, you should be okay. Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark. Did you hear what he did? He just say something to me about how bad I played. He did say something. When about he re-raised me with Ace Eight in about 20 minutes against my two aces. Then what's well, he gonna see, say? see, that's you, that, that's the when thinking. When you had the show. Deuce Three, everybody called you. When you Sometimes had the two aces, go, everybody I, folded. Maybe oh, they know what you're doing. Okay, okay, Steve. Thank you for clarifying the point, sir. Steve? I'm raising this hand too. I'll tell you right now. Okay. That's a good play. There it is. Okay. He, no, nah, we ain't going for that. That's what went in the thousand switch off behind. Nine hundred went in originally. Six and four. Yeah. He had six he and four, and the th yeah. and the other hundred left pot left behind. When do we give Phil the class on handling chips? Well, it's, so, uh, he, he, he knows how to handle chips. He just likes to the camera to focus on his hands because he thinks he has pretty hands. It's not hard for your hands to look pretty when you've got five World Series of Poker bracelets to go on each. Call four and a terrible hand to call eight. But six is like right on the. All right, cusp. come on. We know you're gonna fold. I mean, that's enough TV time. You know I'm gonna fold. Okay. I'll let you know I'm okay. gonna fold. Okay. Okay. You talk me into it. He He's trying to talk me into calling, which right. must mean it's right to fold. Who you bet on this hand, Huck? The Sheik? Come on, Gus. I mean, I'm in the hand right now, please. It's not no, fair. I'm just talking friendly to my buddy, Huck. Okay. I mean, I'm gambling, bro. Go ahead. I popped my collar one time for the boys in the hood. <laughs> Sheiky right has there. an ace high heart <laughs> flush draw. Check. Raise it. Money. Money talks. Cheeky has the best hand. Yeah. That's what they call rope. They call it rope. <laughs> Show me your garbage. Yes, you mind? <laughs> they want to really rub it in. 
He didn't get outplayed by the Sheik, though. I had the big hand. That's known as a whole cat. I had a gush house stranger. I had a gush house stranger. I saw he, he had the rare Philly, hand to hold him. I swear to God. Draw, one day you might be good. <laughs> we just gotta keep trying and keep Jack playing. And the gush shot three. Yeah. What I have? Queen, Queen Jack and the gush shot three. You had the two over cards and the gush shot. Well, I had a little more than that, though. Bill had two had over a cards and a gut shot. Much, I had a little more than that. Just I like, a tad bit. I like that whole camera needle. When you lose a big pot, they say, show us those yeah. cards again for Can the whole camera, please. we see that because players, we couldn't you know? believe that. We couldn't believe that. Is Phil still around? You know? Is Philly still around? Yeah, he's got like 13 or 14. 14, I think. And he's back down to his um, average deck. He was building a little bit for him. Have you guys heard the same play, Rush Out? Huh? Rush, rush Out? Or was it rush idea? Out. Sure. We're not rush out. Rush out. He's trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> you do the same thing that Mattis saw, don't you? You make yourself play, look what? bad, Shiki. Please. You can't help it. You just can't help it. You can just it, tell though. I'm playing bad right there, right? You're going to make yourself look bad on camera. You and I both know that. It was so, so easy for you. All you do is make just a little right? adjustment. You, you raise you, you, raise. He said raise. Did raise? Yes, you, you have, but I give you the option. I can raise 52 because I put the five in and took the two out. Or we'll two all you had to do was make a little adjustment, we'll Shiki, and you'd look good instead of bad. That's it. Now he's going to fall. Is Phil really talking about how Shiki looks on TV? Okay. He actually raised the 52. Well, I had at least one ace. Just a little adjustment, and he looked good. I should show the camera, just so the camera sees. That's the first ace. That's the second uh, card. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. He showed the camera. I showed one ace twice. He said, that that's the, the first thing? ace, and then he said, that's the second. And I said, This card. was your first time on TVZ. What happens if I've floor? Can you ask the floor question? If, if, if someone grabs my hand and looks at it, even though no one else has seen it? Do I get paid, or I mean, do they just get vilified as a? Who's looked? Who's looked at your hand, Phil? Who's done that? What are you talking about? Well, who's grabbed your hand, and picked up your cards after you mocked it? What are it's you a, talking about? It's a hypothetical about? situation. Do you know what hypothetical means? Well, he's talking about me right now. It's a big word, Phil. Not everybody knows it. I understand, but my really? goodness, you it's can't ask about a hypothetical <laughs> situation. Right? I, mean, I thought maybe you were cool. Is that related to hypothermia? <laughs> well, is everybody after going you going now? It's <laughs> always about <laughs> you, right, Sean? You're going through that. When you stand up and talk to the camera, you tell us to sit down every time. It's me against the world, bro. Right? You're, you're out, right, Phil? No, I'm not out. We could really go to town, right? It's me against the world, Philly. So every time we stand up and say something to the camera, you tell us to shut up and sit down, right? I would never, I would never degrade myself and insult you guys. You, did. you guys are. I, I, I made a little speech about Gus, which I thought was 100 percent right, and all you told I said me that to you sit down. All that stuff you stood up for that speech. Then I said something else, and you told me to fold quickly. All right, you know what? The folding quickly part, I think when you know you're going to fold, you should fold quickly. If you really have a decision, take all the time in the world. Three players. A little pinch. Just out of respect for Annie, she has a plane to catch. Yes, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, are, you fine? Fine? are you doing? Six fifteen. What? Six fifteen. Yeah. Make that. This will be over by three o'clock. Oh, there are if later you're nice to us, we can give you a ride to the airport. Either. There are right. later flights nice to LA. Steve. Can give you a ride yeah, to that's the right. I bet. I bet you Annie's rooting to miss the flight, Steve. You want to bet against me? Now I want to make my flight. You want to get home to my kids. Five. I got things to do. And make the flight. You Gus has a pair of aces now. Alone, actually, with, with nobody you know there to watch them. Are no adults. Yeah, my 11 year old's pretty responsible. What kind of mother are you? <laughs> what do you think? I'm that serious. Yeah, you're a poker player. Of course you're serious. <laughs> at least you didn't lock them in the car. Yeah, yeah believe it or not, there isn't a. There, there are two adults at home with them. Still live. Ace five. No. Pretty close. Philly, you want truce or not? Huh? You want truce? You want to call it truce right now, once and for all? <clears throat> or you want to keep losing the sheet? I'm not a truce, man. I'm not a... I don't attack... I never attack people personally. Unless... Uh, you always, unless, you unless, always say how bad I play. Unless... You tell unless they play the whole world how bad really I, bad and they beat me. Then you I telling the whole world how bad I play is not attacking me, Phil? You started it. St oh, you're like, you're like a little kid now, right? Ooh, you Children? Started. I can tell oh you, in goodness, all honesty, you spent a, you spent three, a lot of three time. Three years Sean. ago, he used to play like a total fish cake, and somehow he got very good in, over the last three or four years. Because three years ago, I was just playing poker for a hobby, just to play, just to play. Now, you guys made it personal. 
I made you want to get on TV, act like you guys know how to play. You know, none of you guys play lick anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't see none of you guys except Gussie come to the poker room playing every day. Not one of you guys. Not even. I don't live in Vegas. Gus plays four and eight thousand. Yeah, I have Supposedly. children. So well, hopefully, a good one is that, right? I came to Vegas for three days last week. I won two hundred thousand, sucker. We heard he you the first win. time, Phil. What for you? You Big flop for Gus He's now. Chinese. No, Hassan had a piece of me. He can so take the lead with a three to make a straight, a diamond to make a yeah, flush, or an sucker. ace to make a better Hassan pair than Hug. As a matter of fact, shows you how sick Hassan must be. Yeah. Are you good at Chinese? I don't know. I played you in a plane once, and you didn't play that strong, but that was a long I'm time ago. I'm very it's, lucky at it's, Chinese. It's, I'm just it's so another lucky. one of those things. Well, we gotta play some gin, really. Really? I have. I really have been winning yeah, so much money. Yeah, you were lucky. That, that ace gives me. Gus Hansen a pair of aces and, whenever I and leaves Hug Seed with one out in the deck, the eight of spades. But you know, you know, when these Highlander players make one mistake in Chinese, it's usually an eight or a ten point mistake. And I said. I said, and I, I don't know about that because so I have I two royalties too, Phil. You know, I have a World Series bracelet in Chinese yeah. where I had, to, I, I had to defeat Doyle in the finals. It like lasted till five in the morning. I knew that. Years ago. Yeah, I know. When you, I used to have stamina. And you misplayed a hand too, I remember that day. Only one? I'm sure by the time it got to be five in the morning, we were all misplaying everything. Six in the morning, police at my Phil, door. Phil was stuck like 70000 in a thousand dollar a point Chinese, right? So I'm winning a lot. So we play a hand. He goes, I'm going to get a lot of the money back this hand because I have double royalties. I said, I don't know, Phil. I have double Man, royalties, though? too. I do so Gus wins 7,800. Wait, so he turns over... I my whole life he turns over the ace. Royalties. He turns over, like, the ace nine. I turn over ace queen up front. The second barrel. Mm -hmm. Then he turns yeah, over, like, the threes full in the middle. I turn over the fives full in the middle. Then he turns over the quad eights in the back, yeah, and I turn over the quad jacks. Yeah. He jumped on top of the table. He was like, what is going on here? The best he was That's so pissed and then he quit. He quit me. He was like, I'm done. I was, I was like 78 there. dimes loser at Nichols, yeah. Steve, and they, they showed me that hand. But that was about 10 years ago. Too good. Yeah, it was a while ago. We were playing Have you been around 10 years? during the World huh? Series. Have you been huh? around 10 years? Unfortunately, Unfortunately much longer. <laughs> no, you haven't. You're like around 80 years. Well, eight years? Well, no. Well, I can longer than that. I can truth On the flop, I was going to put in about 23,000. That was about the same on the turn. I know, I know. Here's that rope Phil was talking about. He was just calling with two queens. Six. Total tournaments. Phil, I played with Gus yes, before he knew how to play. play. Big flop for Sean. Open-ended straight and a flush draw. Now they're all much better than me. It was a very playable hand. You, you should actually be able to figure it out. It wasn't ace jack. Sean makes the flush on the river. Of course, there was an ace in the hand. Couldn't have been ace dues because then I was afraid of, wouldn't be afraid of your backdoor flush. Ace five of diamonds. I had this sort of. On the flop. Yeah. What did you have? Two eights. Yeah. Two eights? That's, that, it just looked like that when, yeah. once you check back. I checked the turn. I mean, you could have 2800 for Phil so, to call. Yeah, seemed worth it. Nice call, Phil. I got a straight flush. Good hand. Thank you. Good call, though. Excuse me, America. What's going on here? You just keep pounding on Phil over there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the pot is so small. He flopped the set, and you have a flush. I mean, how is the pot so small? Really? He has a set. <laughs> America! I love America. Land of opportunity and justice for all. Or maybe just injustice for Phil Helmuth's queen. Welcome back to Poker After Dark. Sean Shiki has been needling Phil Helmuth, and for now, Sean's getting the best of him. Shiki has the chip lead, and Phil has the short stack. Short over there. <laughs> we got a mission, Philly. At least I am. You have no idea, son. Son! Son! Sean Shiki the Great! Yeah, Sean the Great. <laughs> Shiki the Great. 
Is that a thousand or eleven hundred? Eleven hundred. The message just came across her earpiece to keep filling the game, otherwise the ratings go down. You're right. That's why I didn't bust them. Yeah, that was th very thoughtful of you. I mean, what is going on, Gus? It's insane. How do you get? To, how do you get such great starting hands? Well, and so keep what? losing Who with cares? them. And keep losing with them. That's the what I two don't outs, understand. Three every freaking hand. It's just two outs. I opened the straight John and flush What are we talking about, bro? Nice you guys see my hand? Nice hand. Damn. You know, before you learn, win, you gotta learn how to lose. Gracefully, at least. And he has a pair of eights. There's nothing worse than a bad winner, Sean. And that's what you and Mike Matisau are. What? My girlfriend is Grace, I think. Seriously. And I think you know that, too, by the way. Phil, you know why you love me, right? Because you're not one of the nicest guys in the world. You, yeah, I know you know that, right, Phil? I can honestly say that, that it's been a long time since I lost a big pot. Phil, Phil. Sean I can honestly you. say it's been a long time since I lost a big pot. And had uh, and had somebody uh, act like that. Really? Yeah. I'm sorry, Philly Fire fan. No, you. I mean it's all right. That's you. That's your style, man. Just for TV, though. Right. We got it misunderstood. So are they getting under you your skin? Get no, not really. I mean, it's it's a Sean has a Sean has a habit of he's a very bad winner, and that's and that's you know and that's no one's ever accused me of being a bad winner ever, and. Uh, Mike Mattis is the same way, the mouth. They're bad winners, you know. And he, when you beat a guy at pot, just say, just take the money, especially considering what he beat, you know. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. The public, the public saw what I had that hand, so. But it's okay, though. I like, I like Sean. He, he'll never get to me in a million years. He can't. Are you setting up the table, though, for a big play later on? I set up the table that hand, but he hit a straight. He hit a straight and a flush on me. <laughs> and he raised with he raised with two jacks against ace jack. He hit an ace. I set him up four times. He hit all four. What do you want me to do? So he's lucky right now. He's been lucky. I mean, he's he's playing pretty good though. You know, I mean, he played that last time good. But you're still going to win the table. Well, I have eight or nine thousand left, so we'll see. Well, good luck. If this is what it looks like when they don't get to Phil Helmuth, what does it look like when they do? came out and the condoms came out like, you know, like the strings come out of a magician's pocket. They just kept coming and coming and coming. If only it's after dark. It's late night. It's like talking about guesses. It's after hours. If only he practiced safe poker, too, he'd be okay. He'd be all right. Huck, you're almost dead. Show them the camera. Wow, that's a good one. That's an even better one. I lied, I lied about that. Did you say anything about me, Philly? Four players now. I said you're a bad loser, which a bad winner, which is true. All I say is the truth, Sean. You watch me on television, I only say And he the has truth. aces up. It's true. You know that. But not a bad player. I, 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 said, I actually said you're, I thought you were playing pretty good. That's what I said. You've been lucky. You, you beat my jacks with ace jack. You beat another over pair. You beat another hand. You just Sean has aces. Game. What do you have, dog? You got some over there? She's got something too, obviously. You convinced me. Wow. Well, I was right. You flip a set, Annie? Hmm? <laughs> You've got me covered. You can move in. We'll find out. It'll be fun. Really? Shiki would need an eight or a jack to make the best hand if he were to call. In one of those days where you lose with all your ace kings and over pairs, it's tough to win. I'm sure in this case he knows it. One of the biggest hand. pots of this tournament. I've seen people wait for Huck after his hand was long gone and still sitting there. Just coming over to say hi. Oh my gosh, I've got both of you guys. Are you, you going to tell her how bad Phil Helmuth has been playing, or should I? 
Well, it seems like he's definitely been playing Phil Helmuth's style, right. which is very different from uh, any uh, sane person. <laughs> but I mean, you got to give him credit because he has he has a lot of success with it. But uh, he's up against a <laughs> tough tough group of players, so um, he might have to change style a little bit. His uh, stag is definitely dwindling, so we'll have to see. Yeah, no, I think actually Phil is one of the most successful No Limit Holden players, or Holden players in general of anybody who's ever been. So here, however, he is up against people who can adjust to some of the things he might do that would put weaker players in a tournament on tilt. Here they can laugh it off or just take countermeasures. Makes it a little tougher for him. I mean, but you guys are used to playing each other. You know, you play each other in tournaments all the time, but is it not that often that you're all at the same table like this? Usually you sit down at a big tournament with eight other players you've actually never seen before. You might have seen one of them before, so it's not very often you actually sit six, six really tough players at the same table, and uh, he can't get away with his usual mumbo-jumbo. All right, well, good luck, guys. You got me. Happy now? Yeah, play the sheet. I yeah. had the best hand. Yeah, no, I don't think you did. All right, do you want to bet? Yeah. Okay, how much do you want to bet? Five bucks. Five dollars. Let me see that. Come on. I'll bet you 10000 I had the best chance. More of NBC's Poker After Dark still to come. Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark. Blinds have gone up to 300 600 Congratulations, you're even money. If she had the seven nine of clubs, well, you're an underdog, so that would have been. Phyllis first. How, why would I check raise five thousand with ace eight? That would be ridiculous. Here's someone about to get knocked out. Tell me how to play poker. You should worry about yourself, bro. Well, you think this defines what kind of player I am? Just because you take six three and beat two queens and ace and two ace jack and beat two. No, jacks. but I mean, the board was and, like you know you had a real good board your, out there. And the your public's gonna hate. Really I'm safe. telling you, the public's not gonna like you very much. I told you that though. I don't play for, for I the public. I warned you before I play you for did myself, that. bro. I Phil's got a firm finger on the pulse of I public know sentiment. I don't change my colors just because I'm on TV. You understand me? You feel me? You mean you're always a bad winner? Huck Seed limped from the small blind, setting a trap for Gus, who bit. Lays, lays, lays. It's fun throwing those five thousand packets in, isn't hey, it? You I'm not going to tell you, Sean. You'll see it on TV. Cease and desist, you cheeky. You're acting in, obsessive. Be gone. You would see it. No, you, I'm sure you had outs to my hand, but I had the best hand right then. I'm sure you weren't drawn dead. She probably had a six for crying out loud. Good read, Phil Helmuth. How lucky did they get against the sheet? How lucky did they get? Was there a raise before the flop on that hand? Mm, nope. No. Oh. I can't help it if you play bad. I'm allowed to get lucky occasionally, Sean. Whatever. It's my only win. I mean, let's well, be fair. That gentleman down there limped in and bet out like a hero. I knew I, 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 I was crushed. If you would have showed him that hand, Huck, one way or the other. If you would have showed him that hand one way or the other, I would have been very disappointed. You couldn't help yourself, huh, Huck? I can't let you raise me every time, Gus. Got to make you think, you know, that it might be re -pops. Huck Seed has just over 19,000, roughly what he started with. Sean Shekhan is the chip leader with over 26,000. And Phil Helmuth is in last place with just over 10,000. Maybe, maybe not, Gussie. Ladies, I'm getting bored again. I'm coming, don't try it. And Shiki's gone. Four players. Huck has a pair of sevens. Two cards, Gus. The best yeah. hand. Gus has middle pair, fives. Phil Helmuth has a pile ah. of frustration.
Heads up. What'd you say you wanted to see a three tandem match or what? We want a threesome between me, Mike, and Phil. We're on late, but you think we're not that, that late. Mike Madison? Me, Mike, and Phil? Is, is that the mic you're talking about, Mike Madison? There's only one mic that we'd be talking about right now. He's the future of poker. <laughs> Mike Madison. That's the future of poker. <laughs> Mike Madison, future of poker. That's how sad poker's become these days. This could be a really bad call. Here, I've got a comment about the sand. If Huck has a seven with a good kicker, he made a great bet here, or a two pair. Mm, if he did, he made a great bet. So what makes you think that? Or queen, I'm just saying, if he has Might ace seven, either. queen seven, king seven, he made a great bet. Somebody has nine eight. He might be he frustrated, but he's but still nine. paying attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he might be right. <laughs> Now they're trying to make it look Big lay down. Yeah, that was yeah, it right that there. Was it. That was it. After I said it, he goes, oh, crap. You mean that? I said if Huck has ace seven, king seven, queen seven, ten seven, jack seven, he made a great bet. Is that what he said? If bet any seven, he made a great bet. That's what I said. Augustine Carlo. Didn't I? I mean, if you, if, you had, if you had a seven, you made a great bet. That's all. More from Las Vegas, Nevada, and NBC's Poker After Dark, still to come. That's all I said. I didn't predict that you did or didn't. You got to play me, Eddie. I kind of thought you did, but... You did. I don't know how to outplay anyone, Sean. I'm not that good. Well, coming from the horse's mouth doesn't, you know... Validate it, but feel free to agree. My feelings won't be hurt. I have a very uh, reasonable judgment of my skill. Actually, nobody's been picking on you at this table. Nobody. Everyone says how badly Gus plays, how badly Phil <laughs> plays. <laughs> Nobody says how badly Annie well, plays. Well, but the difference is that that uh, I don't think. Wait, wait. He called too. He called. He called. Dog, every call. Uh, I'll cut you. Picking on me doesn't really have a lot of teeth. I mean, also. Because I'm like, whatever, okay, I agree. <laughs> you know, All diamonds for Huck C. Also, whoever the fifth best player is at this table still plays pretty well. <laughs> this is true. Okay. You get five high, bro? I got six high. Is it the six of diamonds, though? <laughs> six high flush. Looks like a flush to me, luck box. How do you get so lucky, Huck? I don't know. Is it clean living? Probably doing can't be that. all the boring things like running all the time. Well, you know, no, I, I hike again? and spin and do Pilates, I mean. That's not boring. That's not boring. Spinning, at least you get good music. But the, bikes, yeah, the bikes are so in It's not about running is so boring. No, I, d I just don't personally like running. I think I personally think it's boring. That doesn't mean that other people don't think Lots it's boring. Lots of other great. people think it's boring, too. I've heard that one before. Yeah. I've heard that more than once about running. How bad do you play, Steve? I mean, yeah. Steve, you might be the worst yeah. in the world, Steve. That was a big mistake, you were, uh, why, you were getting ready to no, bet. You were talking about how bad everyone plays, so I was just asking. No. I just thought of something. Play. Before we start, each time with this show, we should like a, take a vote and just vote on who's the worst player at the table for that episode. It'd be like, um, you know... Who's it on? It's on Huckleberry. Ever start a sentence and then... Who the best player is. Wait, who's it on? Six votes, one for each of us. That would, but the worst so we'd have to vote on who the worst player That's is. That's right. You would really vote on yourself, Steve? No, no probably. Actually, in reality, probably not. I wouldn't vote for myself. I wouldn't vote, I would vote for myself. <laughs> you would vote for yourself. We know that. <laughs> if we're playing, if we're playing seven card stud with this group, you'd vote for yourself, Phil. We know no, that. No, I wouldn't vote for myself. Instead. Wow. Uh, no, you got me. He is human, after all. He is. I might vote myself the luckiest triple draw player, but I wouldn't vote myself okay. the best. Either, by the this way. This might be the luckiest in the world. And back to your hole. I got, a, I got a, one of those. Marginal hands. I could beat that. Okay. 
Either one of my cards could beat that. Double down. I had double down hand too. I had one of your cards. You had one of my cards? Her, one of her cards was interfering with my cards. Lots more of NBC's Poker After Dark in a moment. What happens in all tournaments eventually? Yeah. Helmet still in hibernation. While Gustav wakes up with Cowboys. Gussie, come on, you ruined the game, bro. Chill out. With them tactics of yours. What is that? How much? 17. 17. Phil. Earth to Phil. He's taking a nap. He's taking a power nap. I probably would Check. vote on myself for best gambler at the table. I, th I might vote on you for that, too. That one, you, you probably win. The need. best gambler? Yeah, yeah, overall gambler. I would yeah. say Stacey probably spent the most, the most years gambling, the long, longest time between going broke, you know, all those things. Yes. Gus You're wins that pot. You're the worst diamond smuggler at the table, though. Oh, don't remind me, Chris. <laughs> Let's hope this show doesn't air in Canada. <laughs> diamond smuggler? Where is it's that? a long story. He had diamonds that um, he had been paid as part of the debt that he had in a safety deposit box. They were his. And he had to go up to Canada to go get them. And he, at the border, they found them. And he didn't, like, have a receipt for them or whatever. So they wanted to try him for being a diamond smuggler. You get your diamonds back, though? For getting no. his own diamonds. No, you didn't get diamonds back? I had a terrible lawyer. I lost uh, yeah. a fortune in law fees and... Uh, and the diamonds yeah. that were his. And, and they, week, it was one of those things where he had been paid as part of a gambling debt. And, you know, and, someone was, like, taking these And a week... Did we hear no off back then? And a weekend in Toronto jail. No, I had to have a Canadian lawyer. What? He doesn't accept payments in diamonds No, anymore. now he doesn't accept payments in diamonds anymore, Especially unless they come with a receipt. In other no diamonds on this table. Diamonds playing poker, I know that. Actually, what, I, what it helps the odds that, that I, I do it twice for, in a row. You know, from sometimes people go probably pretty poker, big. Yeah. Give me a diamond or a watch or something. He's got a giant chance watch on right now. And then when we were betting sports and it looked like... You just don't give sports. up. <laughs> I took them up to Canada and put them in the box right. and left them there. Going then, there was no problem. Then, but when I, then when I stopped betting sports, I figured okay, I'd bring Gus them heads up again. I, didn't even know, I would have been happy to declare them if I'd known. There's no box on the form right. that says, says I have, Are you I'm carrying, carrying diamonds? diamonds? You know, it was a cash <laughs> box. They weren't cash. Hawk has a plus I think draw. there's goods. You have to declare the value of the goods, though. You right. could have done so that if there. If you bought it there, but I didn't yeah. buy it. There. Right. So it was. I mean, they said they said it was commercial goods. They said commercial. It's my private collection. Right. At any rate, so the but ladies say, and gentlemen, Mr. Gus still has the best hand. Huck is now but open ended. Say, of all the jails I've been in, Toronto was a lot nicer than the tombs. Oh, I'm sure. They, well, I'm sure any Canadian jail is nicer than an American jail. Well, I want you to know, I was in the tombs with her brother, That's and true. her mother and my girlfriend came down to bail us out in a very bad part of town with purses full of hundreds, throwing money around, going through the metal detectors. That's a true story. <laughs> I can't imagine how I'd be in jail ever. And, and Dale was handcuffed cuffed to Josh. And Dale was handcuffed to Josh. <laughs> Which, by the way, was punishment. They should have let him off just for that. And, and Howard and Earl, there's a guy, Earl, who yeah. worked in who the sports Who got married. He found someone to marry him. Really? Yes, he got married. They were playing mental chess. So it's right. like they're in, we're so in this jail cell. You know, and they're doing this stuff. And 21 think, outs for Huxley to win the pot. Going on any heart, you know, they don't know what's any going three, on. any Everybody eight, is looking at his very any funny. four or seven. Rook to F5. You know, we're doing this in the middle. On Christmas, I'm all in. And the, you know when they give you one phone call, Sean? There was a bookmaker who got busted at the same time we did, and he used his one phone call to lay off some game that he oh had too God. much on. That's really <laughs> funny. That's funny. That's funny. That is pretty strong. You guys gamble a lot. They've been playing a lot of pots together. You guys know Hux, each other? I think Huck's ahead on the whole deal. I got ahead on that one. You're watching NBC's Poker After Dark.
Welcome back to NBC's Poker After Dark. What happened, Annie? I want to hear this. What? You, Nothing. It was I make my movie. kids jog along behind the plane. <laughs> you smart. <laughs> I just heard what I just processed what you said. That's funny. Huck is the chip leader. You know, it's only right if I'm going to make my dog jog behind the car, I've got to make my kids jog well, behind the plane. That's right? very fair. When you're humble, Phil, you're a good guy, actually. Just that when you get a lucky couple of hands and win a couple of All clubs, uh, Huck Seed has just flopped his third flush of the match. That's your disease, son. You're a down-to-earth kind of guy, man. Philly. You're the bad winner, not me. I'm the bad loser. That's what I told Sean. That's exactly what I told Sean. Yeah, but I mean, a bad loser, a bad loser is, uh, at least you at least you pull in his chips. A bad winner is like, rub it in your face. There's only a few of those in That's poker. why I play poker, though. You like to rub it in to, people's faces? The side to being a bad winner is it really steams up the people who are still left in the game. It's very, it's very good for steaming up the opposition. I think Shiki thinks it gives him an edge. I do think that. You know I'm not a bad of a person, though, Phil. I know you know that. 3,800. 3,800. And he's drawing dead against Huck's ace high flush. You're almost there. It's just 3,800. 3,800. Oh, that's fine. Mr. Seed. Chop, chop. That's all the time we have tonight for Poker After Dark. Huck Seed has the lead and Phil Hellmuth on the short stack. And there's still not a lot of love at the table. Stay tuned tomorrow for more No Limit action as these pros continue to fight it out for a $120,000 winner take all. I'm Shauna Hyatt and you've been watching Poker After Dark. Good night from Las Vegas. Tomorrow on NBC's Poker After Dark. You're out of line and you're too stupid to know it. Lock your hands, idiot. This is not poker. Now I asked him to shut up. Sit your ass down, people. You're the worst ever.